Yeah, it's in one of those things. I got a seasonal beer, and they brew it here. Uh, <laughs> she loves it. It's hoppy. It's very hoppy. It like, reminds me of like one of those wheat beers, like tropical wheat beers. I'm not a huge fan. So, uh, all four house beers. Let's just hope it doesn't punish me for trying something new. It's very fruity. Hmm. Which is complex a bit. It wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't so hoppy at the end. Like, very hoppy. Like a strong IPA level sort of hop. It's not horrible, but it's not something that I can drink quickly or multiple of. Two and a half out of five points. Oh my gang, Abby. Yep. Oh, sounds like a dance. <laughs> I feel like I've had a beer that tastes like this before too. Feel pretty close to a chimney. Okay, I'll get a jack up. Okay. I like this reminds me a little bit more of like the golden monkey, so I kinda like this more than my yeah, beer. I might steal this. And then this <laughs> Omegang Abbey Ale I got because it's a Belgian style beer, which is pretty close to uh, our Funky Buddha that we normally get for our Victory Gold Monkey. It's close to dark. Oh, Funky Buddha, yeah, it tastes like that. Oh, yes. This is sort of like Fantasy Tavern, slam my, my mug on the table, more ale. I like this. Nice. Four and a half out of five points. I'm on pretzel. I'm not, I'm not pretzel. I didn't get the whole pretzel. It's not bad, actually. I'm gonna dip it in this mustard. It's like a Bavarian mustard, I think. It's not as good as a spicy mustard, and it's not as good as hanger bar. Hmm. But it's a good pretzel. It compares to baseline cab houses. Pretzel. It's very hot. It's freshly made. Chef just brought it out. Some mustard. I need to know from you, you uh, pretzel aficionados out there, and I'm pretty sure I know the answer, but I'm gonna ask anyway. Is there a such thing as too big? Seriously? I can't even have any mustard? Sorry. <laughs> wow, it's huge. So the, the pretzel is a lot more doughy and chewy than I think Hangar Bar or some of the other places we got. It's really dependent on how you like your pretzels. Do you prefer like a more crispy pretzel, but it's like more soft and doughy on the inside. It's not bad. Um, I'll give it a 3 out of 5 plus. It's above average, but other than it's going to burn into my memory or anything like that. Now, I was craving wings. Don't know why. But, I do half and half. They don't have anything hella spicy. But I got the chipotle, sweet chipotle. Six of those. And then I got garlic parmesan. And I haven't had wings since our last live stream, so... Why not? Got big like, pieces of Parmesan on the wing, which isn't the best plating wise, but I'm not gonna turn it down and then like huge chunks of garlic with a nice char and it's, uh, I got them fire grilled. So let's see how it tastes. Okay. The cheese is a bit much, but the real joy is the wing itself. The fire grilled, nice smoky flavor. It's actually grilled with a huge chunks of garlic. This wing itself, they should just drop the parmesan and just do garlic wings. It'd be so much better. The garlic actually, the parmesan, the big slices of parmesan actually hurt the wing. It's like putting slices of cheese on top of a wing. That's so great. Wing itself. So I would say 
the wing with the cheese, one and a half out of five claws. Without the cheese, three out of five claws. We have the uh, sweet chipotle. See a nice char on it, still smoking with some chives on it. Mmm. Huh? That's solid. Nice meaty taste. The chipotle isn't really strong, like really, really light. I would say the garlic wing without the parmesan is better. I just two and a half out of five plus. So I got so absorbed with my wings, I forgot I got fries. Better beer batter. They clearly passed the uh, fry test. Let's see how they taste. Ooh. That's a good crunch. That was a cereal level crunch. That, rival that rivals guys are grill. I'll be honest. Four out of five plus. So, we just finished up. Thoughts? It was good. I liked it. It's not as good as Hangar Bar, as far as the pretzel goes, but the, the drinks are good. The vegan options are not as good as um, ESPN though. I think something to be desired. The wings weren't bad. The beer selection was great. But we want to know what you guys think. The comments always going to be the way says let us know. Are you going to stop at this place going in or out of Universal? Hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We will see you soon. Sure to subscribe. You heard the rest.